On a January 18th, a 16-year-old male was charged with the murder of 25-year-old Avion Colin Smith. According to the Greenville Police Department, Colin Smith crashed his vehicle into an apartment. When police arrived at the scene, they found he had a gunshot wound to the chest. Colin Smith later died at ECU Health. This is just one of many shooting incidents that have happened in Greenville over the past few months. Many people living in the area taken to Facebook to voice their concern under a Greenville Police Department press release post. One person saying Greenville is the new Kinston. Another saying Greenville is getting so bad. And in response to the death of 25-year-old Avion Colin Smith, one commenter wrote, this seems to be an everyday occurrence. I asked Police Chief Ted Sauls how the department is working to help reduce gun violence in a city where so many people seem to be on edge. Here's what he had to say. Whenever we have an acute rise in violence, we immediately uh, put into place responses to that. And you'll see that in the form of extra patrols. You'll see it in the form of suppression details where we know we have an, an identified location that is a problem in specific. You'll see more activity. You'll see more vehicle stops. You'll see more uh, interactions, police officers with members of the public. And that is a, a kind of a basic layer. However, uh, on a much deeper level, what you may not see is our work with our partners, the State Bureau of Investigation, the Federal Bureau of Investigation, ATF, the Alcohol, Tobacco and Firearms Branch of the Federal Government. Um, we work in concert with many uh, of our partners locally. Chief Saw says they also have officers who are assigned as task force officers who can be brought in to help solve cases. And when it comes to keeping guns out of the hands of juveniles, Chief Sauls said this. Proper gun ownership, safe gun storage, things of that nature, because a lot of the firearms that we see uh, that are stolen are stolen from vehicles, and a lot of those vehicles are oftentimes unlocked. So there's, there's that responsibility that, that I take personally if I needed to store a firearm to make sure that it's locked, maybe in a locked compartment inside of a locked car. A in other words, the easiest phrase I can put on it is target hardening. 